Hi, I'm Jimmy Chang, and we're here to talk about how to multiply rational expressions with four terms. Now, here's a word of warning. Whenever you have four terms of anything, and it comes to rational expressions, you're multiplying four fractions by each other. And depending on how involved the terms are, it can take a long time. So we're going to do a, an illustration that kind of shows you how to manage four terms, but it all depends on how the scenarios are when you do those uh, problems involving rational expressions. So here we go. Let's just say you have x over z, and you're multiplying, let's just say, y squared over z to the fourth times x, y, z over y to the squared, and then multiply by z to the fourth over x cubed. Now, to make things as simple as possible, it's recommended, if, if you can, to cross-cancel. In other words, anything in the numerator can be canceled with anything, anything in the denominator as long as they have the same bases. Now, let's talk about this. If you have x, x, for example, can be reduced with x cubed, and there's going to be an x squared left over. Now, this x can also further reduce with this x squared, and there will be one x left over. So at the end of the day, there's going to be an x at the bottom as part of your answer. Now let's talk, move on to the y's. The y squared and this y squared actually cancel completely. There's no more y's in the denominator, but there's a y left in the numerator, so there's a y left in, on top. Now let's talk about the z's. There seems to be a lot of z's going on. Now, you have this z, which can cancel with this z, so that's completely gone, and then z to the fourth cancels with that z to the fourth, and there doesn't appear to be any more z's left, so in this particular case, one variable is completely eliminated, so when you multiply those four expressions, you're actually left with y over x. Now, the other option would have been if you chose to multiply all the terms across for the numerator and denominator and then cancel after the fact. But it's completely up to you as to how you want to do it. Cross cancel along the way or multiply and reduce later. So I'm Jimmy Chang and that's a brief introduction on how to multiply rational expressions with four terms.